Hi, I'm Vernon Shelton. This is Urban Grandstand, and I'm with my man DK Dark nice. Knight. Yeah, yeah. It's a pleasure again, my man. Absolutely. It's a pleasure again. So, <laughs> what, what's what's new with you? Going on with you, man? You've been doing man. a lot, bro. Yeah, I've been trying like, to. Really, like I'm like, man, you becoming <laughs> a masterpiece or something, man? Yeah, I've been, been trying a busy to man. Uh, do do a lot, man. Yeah. Really, you know, we got you. In this day and age, you know, there's all kinds of crazy stuff going yeah, on. Yeah, I know. And I just want to be out of it. I just want to um, concentrate on what I need to and, and do it for the fans, the, the people oh, that yeah, love my yeah, work yeah. and stuff like yeah, that yeah. And, and inspire all that is up and coming and stuff, you know. So it, it's, it's a beautiful thing, man. You get all kinds of people just coming to see you and work and stuff like that. And uh, man, my new book just dropped uh, in April. I had all kinds of love, you know, man, all kinds you, of people just came You deserve up. it, man. You yeah. deserve it, dude. You've been doing it for years. I keep telling you that. And <laughs> right. You continue to go on and on and on. And then next thing you know, when you're done with something else, here comes something new in the back of your mind. Like, oh, I'm going to come with this. Something oh, yeah. Funny. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It's always there. Um, yeah. So many ideas and, and so little time. <laughs> it feels like, but, you know, um, it's just all kinds of crazy uh stories and, and creations I want to do and, and books and it just it feels like I have no time to get to where I want to um, because I'm working on this project or I got another project that's coming up and I want to jump on that so I kind of crisscross between projects um, and, and continue to work at it you know and just nice. uh, stay busy <laughs> nice. nice you got yeah. to do that so mm -hmm. So now I'm I'm hearing that you want to direct movies, man. Like, what, what's going on? You being uh, the next Steven, nah. Steven Spielberg, man. Yeah. Like, I'm like, this man doing it all, man. He ain't playing. Like, you, 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 you trying to direct movies and hearing, like, situation that you've been in movies. And I'm just like, oh, my God, man. My man's doing it all, man. What's, 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 you are a busy man. You're getting it, man. I'm uh, proud of you, though, man. Thanks, you deserve it, thanks. bro. Seriously. Yeah, it's just... Uh, little ideas I have and we've you know, done films before it's like just little cheap and <laughs> silly films and stuff but uh, you know I just got done filming with a, a friend of mine he uh, lives in Taiwan he's oh, okay. doing directing and stuff you but get a uh, long out shot off I, yeah Chris, <laughs> uh, my man's Chris and uh, you know he's doing good things in, in Taiwan he's got a new movie coming out he's working on out there and stuff so I'm looking forward to seeing that. I think it's actually part of the movie we shot this uh, this past uh, winter, so I think he's still working on that. Um, but yeah, off of that, you know, we've been trying to do something with film for a while, and um, it just it never worked out too well. So, no next mission. Like, what do, what do you got planned? Like for yourself, what you what you got going on now? Um, what else are you, or you just got like a big schedule? You work in one step at a you time. Know, I, <laughs> <laughs> the schedule never works yeah, out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But uh, no, I, I, I got the uh, uh, Shadow Realm I'm doing right now. Um, and this is a remake. Well, I actually call it a remaster from when I was doing it uh, earlier. And I think I started in 99 or something like that. But I did come out with the first book. Uh, at the time, it was like, eh, this is pretty cool, but there was still, in my head, I'm like, ah, I'm not happy with it. Um, so, you know, I, I started the other issues after that, and I just wasn't, I wasn't happy with how it was looking. So I just stopped altogether. Um, then I started back on my, my Chain Fury series, which uh, I have a lot of fans with that. Um, and that's going well, you know. I got the first book out. Now I got the second book out. And everybody's looking forward to the third book. So I'm nice. like, you know, I, I kind of want to start that, but you know, I got the Shattered Realm thing going on, and that's like taking a lot of time too, because it's so much detail in the in the characters and in the story. And it's going to be a long book, so I probably got like this the rest of this year and half of next year to get that finished. But um, yeah, it, it's it's trying. I got. Some of the pages here you could check out, but um, yeah, it's it's turned out pretty good. Nice. Yeah. <clears throat> what did you really got to change in it? Like, what made you go back and be like, ah, uh, like, you know? The the book had uh, it was it was too cartoony to me. Okay. You know, it was okay. like 
And though I like a lot of cartoons and stuff, I, I needed it to be stronger. I wanted it to be eye appealing and originated, catchy too. More originated yeah. into it to yeah. create more. Right. And I, I needed it to, you know, feel strong. It's kind of like how George Lucas felt with his Star Wars. You know, oh, he, yeah. he had the, the movie, which did well, but he knew there was more he wanted to do with it. So um, it's kind of like that process. I, I saw what I had. It was there. And now I needed to make it, you know, more um, stronger uh, okay. and, and, and get that out. So it, it looks amazing to me. I'm, I'm happy with it so far. Um, and I, I hope everybody else is when the book actually comes out. But it's, it's a dope story. You know, I got my man, uh, Robert Brewer. He did the story um, and everything. And his writing is awesome. I love it, yeah. and I like working with him and, and everything. And there's still stories he's got that I want to do. Uh, we did this book called Tear Collector, and that was that was a a great book. I, I want him. To, I, I keep bothering him to this day. I think we did that in 2000, and uh, I, I laughed the whole time I was drawing the book because um, it was it was great writing. Um, and I, I keep bothering him to this day. You need to write a second one. Write a second one. We got to do a sequel, and uh, you know he's been busy with his stuff. I've been busy with mine, so yeah. I, I think it'll 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 come around eventually, and uh, along with other projects. So, are you thinking about taking something from your books and you know making out that out of a movie or anything? Anything that would from be, the books? You, that would you know be what I'm awesome. saying? I'm just, I just know, you know it's a good uh, just a good <laughs> idea. Just an example, the one book that you just know. That you start off with, that you know, that's like, man, this is blowing up. Yeah. I got, I got to, I got to make a movie yeah. out of this. You know what I mean? Because it's special to you, right? Right. I mean, if something's special to you, you want to make that very well and very good, right? You know? Oh, absolutely. Um, Shadow Room, of course, I wanted to do for a <laughs> long time, but like as a live action film, that would be a live action film because you know I, I place certain people with the nice. the character and. Um, Right offhand, like the main character would be like um, Ray Park. I don't yeah. know if you know who that is. He was uh, Darth Maul and Toad from X Men, and yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. you know Snake Eyes from GI yeah, Joe. Yeah. But you know, we we run into each other every now and then at Comic Cons and stuff. And I talk to him about it, like, dude, you got to play this character if it ever becomes a movie. And uh, he, he he grabbed the book. He's looking at. It, he's like, this is awesome. Hey. Um, He's like, yeah, that's me right there. That's that's who I'm gonna play and everything like that. So, yeah. I'm like, yeah, we're on that. Um, Tia Carrera, I, I talked to her about it, um, and she was like interested. And, you know, I, I think you, just talking about it though, and I'm just a little guy. They know they don't know me from <laughs> whatever, but um, you know, they're just like making you happy uh, by saying, yeah, they would do that yeah. because you know. That's them as a professional, you know, they're there for the, the, the fans, fans to make the and fans stuff feel and, good, but yeah. One but, thing about uh, it, they could be saying that. Yeah. But deep down inside, that person could actually be reading that book and be like, you know what? I'm serious. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, it I'm only takes like that attack. one person. <laughs> yeah, I was serious to like, as a heart yeah. So um, yeah, I, I was talking to them too and then Michael Jai White, I want him in it as like yeah. the main <laughs> villain and stuff and yeah, that'd be so awesome. Yeah, but I, I think about these things all the time. Chain Fury would be more of a, um, I would like that animated. So, nice. you know, I have uh, ideas on that. And it's funny because, like, as I'm writing and, and doing this book and storyline, I have, like, most of it finished um, as far as, like, roughs and in my head where I wanted to go. And my friend uh, Cliff, he actually, he helped me with the ending of the story, which I think of to this day. I'm like, I can't wait to get there, but it's taking so long. I just want to end it now and just not think about it anymore and move on to other things. But I can't rush something like that because then it'll it'll be a failure yeah. at the yeah, end. Yeah, it takes you know, time to, to do it. Yeah, I yeah. see what you're saying. So um, as much as I want it to end and I, I don't want to think about it no more and, and move on to other things, I can't rush it either because it, it, I won't be happy in the yeah. end with it. You know, there'll probably be other people that are happy, like, oh, that was a cool story and stuff. But, you know, in the long run, I won't be happy. Yeah. I did design 
um, but Derek McDaniel's uh, action figure when I was doing his DMC comic, um, I had the design and I sent it to a toy company um, that was in deal with the, the comic as I was doing it at the time, uh, Shocker Toys, and they were making a figure and it looked awesome. It, uh, it looked exactly like my drawing of uh, DMC and everything and they sent me pictures of the mold and stuff like that and I was like, wow, this is going to be my first action figure. This is crazy. Um, so, of course, you know, the, the comic didn't work out with him. I kind of got played on it, so they stopped uh, production on the toy and everything too. Yeah, you, you, you learn from that. Yeah. You learn from that because you can hear somebody say yes and you can hear somebody say no. But then instead of them being a man and talk to you, mm -hmm. you'll be like, wow, you know, we could have handled this in a professional way instead of like this. And then you go back and see what they end up with and you just be like, wow, really? Yeah. You know what I mean? Not to be right. mean or nothing. You just be like, yeah, I, I don't, are you I don't, serious? Yeah, I don't like talking about other yeah, people's yeah, work and yeah. stuff, but like I had something. The way, you know, when we had our first meetings and stuff like that and he's talking about the MC, the comic and everything, um, he made clear that he wanted nothing to do with uh, Adidas because he got played by Adidas and all this crap and um, he didn't want no symbols or anything like that uh, in his clothes. Because the first designs I was doing was him wearing uh, Adidas gear and stuff yeah. like that. And uh, you know he liked them but he was like, ah, I don't want anything to do with Adidas. I want to be more like a, a Batman um, type figure, you know, make me dark and make me, you know, muscular and stuff like that so the design I did come up with was awesome oh, yeah, yeah. It, it looked awesome and I did like a side to side for the comic he has out now I did a side to side comparison I'm like this is what he asked for this is what he got you know of course mine looked better oh, I man, mean most definitely and, uh, I, I you know, it out. I beat it out. <laughs> yeah, now he's got like Adidas everywhere on his new character and yeah, stuff yeah, and, yeah. Uh, the dude, it, it looks, it looks corny to me. I mean, yeah. I, not to dog other, you know, professional artists, but um, you allowed to have your own opinion. Yeah. You know, that's the thing about this world nowadays. It's good to be real about yourself and say what's on your mind. You yeah. know what I mean? And you, you allowed to have your rights to have your own opinion. You right. Know? And everything happens for a reason to even make you better. But then you exactly. see how the way you meet people and people say stuff to you. And you think that's what they want, and then you see the phoniness at the end. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's, right. it's kind of crazy. Yeah, it, it, it throws is. you off big it, time, it, it though. Like, wow, like, that's crazy. Wow, really? Yeah. And, uh, like, the, they did a um, copied version <laughs> of um, Tom McFarlane's Spider Man cover, uh, the first issue, and they got DMC in the same position. And, and instead of the webbing in the background, it's like all these chains and, or gold chains and stuff. And, you know, he's got the Adidas on. And, his, his sweater is covering his face and everything. I'm like, what is this, dude? Come on, man. But it's, it's whatever. It, it is, is what it is. And you know what? Uh, the funny about this, uh, I did a con out in um, Atlantic City last year, and he was there with his new book and everything. So I walk up to him. I, I wasn't going to at first, but I, I ended up going up to him and checking it out. and. It was like he forgot who I was. He didn't even realize that I, you know, was the first person doing working on his book. He's like, yeah, come on, check out my new book and everything like that. And I'm looking at him like, does he not remember who I am? And he really did. It was like wow. just all into his book and handing it to me and showing me and gave me his card and stuff like that. I was like, wow, that's yeah. how played I got, you know? And Okay. And you already so just, met him too. Yeah. Like, but I'm like three different times. Yeah. See, but Forgot you that quickly. see, but you learn from that because now you having a way to be your own director, and God yeah. is going in your favor. You know, God is going in all our favor, and you stay, continuing to be blessed, man. Yeah. Yeah. That's all you could do: focus on God, your son, your family, and continue to be blessed, man. Absolutely. You're always gonna have people that's gonna sit in front of you and gonna <laughs> be like, man. You know what? Yeah, I want to do this with you. Right. And then next thing you know, they don't follow through with it. You know what I mean? Because yeah. that's bad business. It is. And that's why you act the way you act and you close your doors and you be like, eh, let me think about that. Because you don't got time for games. Right. You got time for business. Right, exactly. <laughs> you know? And I think yeah. that's why I got a lot of the, the stuff I have out now and why I'm 
doing a lot of these shows and, and businesses with people and stuff because I I pursue it. I don't um, you know I don't just talk about it. I had all these guys back in the '90s and um, early '90s and stuff, and you know you would only see like their comic books. Now kids today they have like the computers and YouTube and stuff like wow. that. Social media. You can sit there and watch these guys today just like do this, you know, and you didn't have that before. Yeah, you yeah. just saw what they created as a book and you're like, man, I wish I could meet him. I want to see how he does this and start off doing that and everything. Now you have that and that yeah. is more inspiring and it just it fuels you. You want to get up and just start drawing now and like, man, you're awesome and stuff. So <laughs> it's it's awesome it, and, you know, just seeing this happen and stuff. So. That's that's what I want to be for the kids today. You know, I want to be that that motivator and, and kids watching me and like, wow, that's really cool. And um, it's, it's a good feeling to have that's that. Good. That's good. Yeah. Well, you know how we do it. Oh this yeah. Is, hey, you know how we Absolutely. do it, man. This is Vernon yeah. Shelton, Urban Grandstand, and my man. Give a shout out, Damian Kendrick, Damage Art Studio. Nice.